is done like you see my eyebrows are done i have on not foundation but i have on the elf halo glow because i love that stuff um and yeah now it's time for the concealer um there is a secret i have definitely used this concealer already prior to this video because i didn't want to wait so yeah but the concealer that I'm going to be testing out for you guys today is the Milk Makeup Future Fluid Concealer. I have the shade 18W. This isn't the shade that I wanted. The shade is definitely too light, which is why I went ahead and did my base with the products that work. I really wanted to try this um, concealer out for like all over my face, but they were like sold out. And which is crazy because I went the day after it released. And they were already sold out of the shade that I wanted. I wanted the shade 25NW, um, but I couldn't get that. So I got the 18W and just going to have to highlight it, which is to me the most important area because I have very dry under eyes and finding a concealer in a setting powder that actually works for me is definitely difficult. But like spoiler alert, I really like this one. But yeah, okay. So... First thing is just gonna unpackage it. If you've seen anyone else's video, you can see like it has like this cone applicator doe foot type of thing. I really like it because you're able to get like precisely in this little corner of your eye. Like I really like it. And like I said, the shade is obviously too light, so I'm just going around and putting it on the places like where I would highlight. And that's it. That's all the concealer I'm going to put today, also on my forehead. But that's all the concealer I'm putting today because I want to go for a fairly natural makeup look today because I do have a couple of videos to film and I want my makeup to look universal throughout of all of them. Um, which is why I won't be doing any eyeshadow today because yeah, I really wanted to do eyeshadow that matches the shirt, but next time, next time we're gonna do that. Um, I do like to let my concealer sit for a little bit. Um, as I do it, I typically put my concealer down and then do my eyebrows, sorry, but I can't do that because I already did my eyebrows because I didn't want to come looking crazy. So. I'm going to put down my blush and contour and everything. I've done that before too. And I'm gonna put that down as I wait for the concealer to dry for contour today. I'm gonna to be using this, what the heck is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade. I don't know. Oh, 65 Coffee. that's it and then for blush I'm nervous to put my blush down now because I used a rare beauty blush and there was one time where I put it down before blending out everything else and it just did not work well for me so I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and blend out my concealer like I said I would love to let it sit down a little more but I'm really not trying to let anything else dry too much and I do want to put on my blush but obviously like if you know you know um but the blush I will be using today is going to be by Rare Beauty I love their blush I have it in the shade Grateful and I also have the shade Lucky but I want to use Grateful today but we're gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer this is my elf I don't know I don't know the this one the purple one I don't know the name of it, but I really like it. It's my favorite sponge. I use it every day. And just like initial blend of this concealer is like so beautiful. Like it's so pretty and it doesn't feel like, I just put concealer under my eyes like some concealers always feel for me. Like it's always not, not a bad experience, but 
this concealer definitely takes the cake in my opinion it's a dream to blend out and i just could only imagine if i would have gotten the color that i wanted at first like this color is light even for a highlight ish for me i mean i like it on like glam days but on the days i just want to be natural it kind of sucks a little bit how bright it is but it, it, it's really pretty so it it's fine it works out now i'm going to take another brush and go ahead and blend everything else on my face okay so everything is blended out for the most part um i'm gonna flip my sponge around to like the part that doesn't really have any concealer ignore that i don't know why that part's there but this is the part that i just blended out the rest of my contour and everything and i'm going to take this side and further blend out the edges where the blush and concealer will connect and go under my eyes where i put the concealer just to kind of blended into each other seamless like it looks a lot more seamless now i'm gonna set it with powder i don't know if i want to use a brush or a puff today i'm gonna use a puff because the puff is literally right here so we're just gonna use a puff and call it a day but I'm just gonna set the concealer under my eyes and like just look at that it's beautiful like I absolutely adore this concealer and like I said this is not my first time using it I definitely want to save it for my first time of use on camera but honestly I was just way too excited like I was way too excited when I saw it because the claims of this concealer is to be hydrating it has hyaluronic acid I forgot to blend my lip contour embarrassing yeah with the hyaluronic acid and everything like that in this concealer I was just like there's no way this concealer won't be amazing for me and like I'm a close-up look at that like no greasing smooth like I I cannot like I love it um I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face then give a little feedback on the concealer so I'll be right back all right so I am coming a little close to show you guys how the makeup is looking um the rest of the products I use um on my lips I just use this NYX butter gloss in creme brulee and I don't know where my eyeliner is I mean my lip liner went but it was literally a lip liner that was like from the beauty supply store brown lip liner that was from the beauty supply store like that's it oh I actually did forget one step one product that I'm about to use is this um this liquid highlight from wet n wild it's called hello halo or something like that and I love putting this on like the high points because it's so freaking pretty. And it's a little light. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little light, but I am obsessed with it. You do kind of want to blend it out fast. It, I've noticed, especially on the cheeks, because it will like just sit there. So I do like to blend it out with my, you know fingers because it just melts it in a little better but like look at that shining okay so sorry about that forgot my liquid highlight but yeah this was the elf i mean wet and wild halo glow and gilded glow um i already told you use the elf halo glow in uh shade six tan deep and then i didn't use setting powder I didn't use it because I don't know I don't feel like I really need it with this combo um, because the powder that I use which is the Sephora micro smooth multitasking face powder I don't ever feel like I need it like it's really it's really good um, I really like this one both of them um, I have a shade for my face that's in tan and I have a shade for my under eye which is in honey um those are the good I believe that's it so yeah it is now like 
a little after five um i am going to keep this makeup on throughout the rest of the day not really the day um and i do plan to come back and show you guys how my makeup how the under eye specifically is holding up throughout the day so hopefully i remember to do that i guess we will see so yeah okay so this is how it's looking after wearing it for a while and yeah this concealer gets an a plus for me i absolutely love it but thank you guys for watching i love you please enjoy like comment and subscribe <laughs>